हेलो एवरीवन दिस वीडियो इज़ अबाउट आइल्स लिसनिंग एमसीक्यूज स्टूडेंट्स को एमसीक्यूज में ज़्यादा प्रॉब्लम आती है क्योंकि उन्हें लगता है कि सारी ऑप्शंस ही होती हैं वो कंफ्यूज हो जाते हैं तो इस वीडियो में हम करेंगे सॉल्व एमसीक्यूज एंड उससे आपको होपफुली हेल्प होगी कि कैसे ईजीली हम एक्सक्लूड करते हुए राइट right आंसर सिलेक्ट कर सकते हैं सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द क्वेश्चन सबसे पहले हमें क्वेश्चंस देखने हैं कि व्हाट दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट क्योंकि कन्वर्सेशन तो काफ़ी लंबी होती है लेकिन इन क्वेश्चंस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चंस के बारे में वो बात कर रहे हैं या नहीं उसकी बात नहीं होती लाइक ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट इज हाउ मेनी पार्ट्स डज अ पेपर इंक्लूड मीन्स दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सम काइंड ऑफ रिसर्च पेपर तो उसमें कितने पार्ट्स हैं उसकी बात हो रही है ट्वेंटी सेकेंड हाउ मैनी वर्ड्स के एक पेपर में कितने वर्ड्स होने चाहिए डज अ पेपर नीड एंड वॉट इज़ द ट्यूटर्स पॉइंट अबाउट इंटरनेट रिसोर्स यानी कि जब वो रिसोर्स की बात करेंगे तो ट्यूटर का क्या पॉइंट है उसके बारे में हम ऑप्शन अभी नहीं देखेंगे फिर ट्वेंटी फोर्थ एंड ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ है चूज टू लेटर्स वट डज ट्यूटर वॉन द स्टूडेंट अबाउट द पेपर अब ट्यूटर किस बारे में वॉन करता है चलिए लेट स्टार्ट Now listen carefully and answer questions 21 to 24. Good morning. Oh, it, it's just hit 12. Good morning, Miss Potter. May I come in? Oh, Jerry. Of course. Come in and take a seat, please. Thank you. Well, how about your assignment? Do you mean my paper? Yes. I still think about the draft, but I hope you can give me some help and suggestions. Of course. How long will it take you to finish your draft? Uh I'm not sure. Maybe 3 days. My advice is that you should spend a lot of time on your draft. As you know, a good beginning is very important for a paper. A good draft can help you outline your paper and even benefit your argument. Okay, I will try my best to write up my work. Uh Miss Potter How many parts are in the paper? Generally speaking, there are four parts and references. So there are five parts. Right. Contents, introduction, main body, and conclusion. Yes. And a bibliography. So how about the word Now we are done with the 21st. Why the answer is C five parts? They did not talk about three parts at all, so exclude that. and four parts yes when the jerry came to mrs potter the tutor she was talking about assignment first they were talking about draft don't jump into answer they were talking about draft how long it will take to finish then three days they were talking about after that they started discussing about the parts tutor said generally speaking there are four parts and references four parts plus references plus references so that means it's five parts and then again he confirm okay so there are five parts then she said right contents introduction main body and then conclusion and the bibliography means there are five parts Now let's move to the next question. So how about the word limitation of my paper? According to the requirements, you have to write at least 3000 words and not over 5000. Okay, 3 to 4000. Right. How It is totally clear in the next question because when the student Jerry asked the word limitation, tutor said according to the requirement You have to write at least three thousand word, not over five thousand. Three to five thousand, she said. Right, means it's not a one to three thousand, three to four thousand. The answer is clear. It is C, three to five thousand. Then the third twenty third is what is the tutor's point about internet resources? Let's see. How about your research? I haven't begun to do the research. Why? because i'm not sure about the research method i mean i cannot decide to use which one now i remember i suggested you to use the method of interview 
Yes, but I think maybe questionnaire is better for my work. Really? Tell me your reason. I have to spend some time of the day on a part-time job, so I think maybe a questionnaire is a good way to collect the data that I need. Fine. Oh, do you search resources or data from the internet? Yes, I think it's a good way to collect data. And as you know, it can help save lots of time. Jerry, in fact, many students do most of their research on the internet. You might think that it is an easier way to get resources, but most data are from highly unreliable resources, so be critical. Okay, I will pay attention to that. So now, if we go to the 23rd one, first they were talking about research methods. What kind of research method he should use? The tutor was also suggesting that go for interview method. Then he said questionnaire is better, but I'm doing part-time job. And uh, so then teacher said, what about internet resources? So our answer can be here. Yeah, so student said like uh, it's a good way to collect data but tutor what was her viewpoint critical negative positive she said many students do research on internet you might think it's easier way to get resources but most data is from or most data are from highly unreliable resources so be critical so tutor told Jerry to be critical so the answer is critical now let's move to 24th and 25th. Then, there are some things you should consider when you write the paper. Okay. Be careful with your references and quotations, and do not share other people's work. I mean, you should write clearly about reference books, and do not forget to acknowledge the original writers. Otherwise, you will be failed for plagiarism. Okay, I've got it. The other point is... Deadline? No, deadline is the date of handing in your work. You better hand it in on time. But if you have a reasonable excuse, you can ask for an extension. Fine. Sorry to interrupt you. That's okay. The other point you should pay attention to is your research data. Okay, I will write them clearly. Oh, Miss Potter, could you recommend to me some good reference books about the topic of my paper? So, they are not talking about library resources. He asked in the end that can you suggest and uh, then research method. They are not talking about research method here. Paper deadline, she told no and uh, they were talking about plagiarism and research data. So, if we go to the conversation, if we notice exactly what they were talking so he said there are something you should consider when you write the paper be careful with your references and quotation do not share other people's work that is called plagiarism we know that i mean you should write clearly about reference book and do not forget to acknowledge the original writer otherwise you will be failed for plagiarism okay i have got it the other point he said deadline she said no deadline is the date of handing in your work so then she said the other point you should pay attention to your research data so then he said okay i will write them clearly so the answer is research data and plagiarism multiple choice questions mein guys wo generally aapko confuse karte hain do teen options ke bare mein bol ke jaise isme bhi usne deadline bola agar aapne acche se nahi suna to aap deadline bhi tick kar sakte ho लेकिन आपको ध्यान देना है उसने उसको नो no बोला है तो मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चंस में जनरली वो चेंज कर लेते हैं तो आपको थोड़ी अटेंशन पे करनी होती है थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो